Hello, good afternoon. This is David Soto talking to you, and today I'm going to show you how to install the new Excalibur Trend Indicator, okay? In a previous video, I showed you basically what it's about, how it works, and in this video, I'm simply going to show you how to install it and how to use it, okay? Very, very simple, okay? Now, first of all, I'm going to send you a download link to download the software. Once you have the download link and you download it, you will have a self installation file. It should be .exe. I think it says Excalibur.exe, something like that. So um, download a file. You can download it to your desktop, your documents, wherever. Just make sure you remember where you placed it after you downloaded it, okay? And in this example, I simply uh, download it to my desktop. And I have it right here in the middle of my desktop so you can see. And just click on it. And it's going to uh, ask you, do you want to continue? Hit yes. And then uh, it's going to go through this installation wizard, okay? Now, one thing to note uh, before you go through this wizard is that if you have any of your MetaTrader platforms open, okay, make sure you close them out first, all right, or else you will not be able to go through this wizard, okay. And also, uh, just so you know, that right as of right now, this only works on MetaTrader 4, not 5, okay. In the future, I plan on trying to make this for MetaTrader 5, but for right now, it's only MetaTrader 4, okay. So anyhow, if you click next, I want to show you this. <clears throat> click next, and you do have a MetaTrader platform open and running, you will get an error message like this, okay? And this simply is just telling you that you need to close out any other MetaTrader pro programs, and then you can continue, okay? So if you click OK, it will just keep showing the same message. So figure out which Met MetaTrader platform you have open. For this example, I'm using Trader's Way, so I have it open. And I'm just going to close it out and then if I click continue then I'm able to continue right so this next window just shows you some basic information about this indicator and how it works okay you can read this on your own I'm not going to read it now click next and then here's the end user license agreement which is just some basic information saying that you know you will not uh, copy this and distribute it blah 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 so click I accept and then click next and then choose uh, which MetaTrader platforms you want to install it on. I don't care if you install it on all of them or just one, you know, it doesn't matter to me. But just pick the one you want. For this example, I'm only going to choose the Trader's Way, okay? And then hit Next, Next, and then Done, okay? It should say Done right here in the bottom. As you see, it took like maybe two seconds to install. And then click Next. And then I like to go ahead and check. This box right here says run the miniature platform after uh, installation. Click finish. And what's going to happen is it's going to reload my MetaTrader uh, trade trade terminal. Okay. So now uh, let me get this password real quick. Hold on. Okay. So I got, uh, I got the password inputted and loaded here. I just paused the video so you don't see my password. And then, okay. And then I got um a basic chart open right here all right and actually i'm going to close this and open up a default chart like euro usd just so you can um, see from scratch all right how to install this all right now on the left hand side under your navigator pane here okay you should have a file that says excalibur uh trend indicator okay click on this okay and drag and drop it all right now, you know, you can go through all these about, common, input, color, whatever. The only thing you need to be concerned about is your inputs tab. And I have all these notifications set to true by default. These are the only uh, options you have. I made this very, very simple to use. And you can uh, turn these on or off, but I would highly recommend keeping your push notifications on. So this way you can trade on your cell phone, okay? This will not install on any mobile platform, just so you know. But you can get push notifications sent to your cell phone and you can trade directly off your cell phone using the mobile uh, MetaTrader application. Okay. Now, the only thing you're required to do here, input a password that I will supply with you. Okay. So in this example, I already have a password saved and I'm just going to load it real quick and click load and then um, go here and click OK. Now, once you have your password in here you know it works click on the save right here 
and then you can uh, save it in your documents wherever and just type in the name you know you type in password oops or Excalibur you know something along those lines all right <clears throat> something like that I don't care and then save it I'm not going to save it <clears throat> for this video and then click OK and then what it's going to do is going to load red and blue arrows as you see here <clears throat> and that's it all right that's all there is to it <clears throat> very very simple now in this example here default is one hour chart <clears throat> as you see here <clears throat> and um you notice um, what I recommend this is this is what I recommend do not use any stop loss or take profit okay just enter on one arrow and close the trade on the opposite arrow okay this way you know you're not having to worry about your broker detecting your stop loss or take profit all right um, <clears throat> If you do, if you follow my method, you'll get the maximum amount of pips. All right. So, if it, on your cell phone, for example, if you get a buy signal, do not place a trade right away. Okay, because it may possibly repaint. All right. One hour chart doesn't repaint that much, but it can. Okay, and it will sometimes. So, what I recommend is wait to the next candle before you enter the trade. Okay wait at least one candle maybe even two candles it won't hurt and then enter the trade okay and then just wait for the next uh signal to close all right so if example here let's say i'm going to use this one here for example but let's just say uh, where's that <clears throat> let's say that the arrow came in here all right I don't know I cannot look in the past and tell but let's say it came in here and let's say it repainted two times and then dropped down to here which is possible okay so even if you had entered here on this candle you know it's not a big big deal because you had a lot of room for travel up all right now you may have some drawdown initially but then later it'll make up for it okay and if you look at the time frame okay look at the time frame here this trade was open I'm going to draw a horizontal line here and draw a horizontal line here okay so we're looking at um, from 1600 on the 30th of January till 10 a.m. on the 31st so you're looking at about mm, about you know about 16 hours 15 hours somewhere around there okay so a little more, little more than half a day all right and what I like to do this right here is okay but the problem what I like to do is open and close a trade on the same day if you look here watch this if I draw this drag this horizontal line all the way uh, to here get this line I'm gonna drag all the way to this blue arrow here and this one I'm gonna drag it right here where this red arrow is <clears throat> okay we see 31st of January at 9, 9 a.m. 9 o'clock 09 and then on the 15th of February at 1500 3 o'clock in the afternoon is when it closed so you're looking at a month and a half that this trade was open and that's great I mean really as far as the amount of pips you're gonna get the problem here is that in this process you're gonna incur a lot of swap fees alright and more often than not your swap fees are gonna be negative sometimes they're positive but generally speaking your swap fees are going to be negative and swap fees are only incurred if a trade is open more than 24 hours so you have a trade open for a month and a half you're gonna have a lot of swap fees that's gonna eat into your profit okay even if you have a lot of pips and make a lot of profit it's gonna be cut short from all the all the uh, swap fees okay so to avoid that I like to be in a trade for a few hours and get out that's just me okay 
and how I can do this the best is to use a five minute chart I do not want to use a one minute chart because one you're gonna get fewer pips and also it's gonna repaint like crazy on a one minute chart on a five minute chart it will repaint some but not like the one minute okay if you come to the five minute chart okay let me get rid of this grid so you can see a little better but um you have like for example you have a buy arrow here and a sell here all right and if I use a cross here as you're looking at about 583 pips it says okay so that's not bad and the length of time if I draw a horizontal line here and a horizontal line here so we're looking at from 0 3:50 in the morning on the 8th of uh, March till 1900 on the 8th of March so open early in the morning and then close in the afternoon right so it opened and closed the same day all right that's all I'm trying to show here and this way you got several hundred pips in one day and no swap fees all right how easy is that now what you're going to occur you're going to definitely have some um, repainting issues going on if you use a five minute chart but it's okay what I recommend okay for example let's say I don't know for sure looking in the past don't quote me on this but let's say the the first blue arrow came in you know right about here on this candle and repainted several candles over I don't know it could repaint three or four candles and eventually drop down to this level okay so you know drop from here to there how far is that down you know it's not that much further down all right and finally it dropped to this and this was the last of the, that it repainted and then you had a whole uptrend after that and technically you see here there was another arrow okay this was actually your point of entry right here I didn't see that but um either way now you could actually place two trades if you want but I'm just trying to show you that you can get in and out the same day if I open it up let's see if I draw this over here okay so we're looking at 9 45 p.m. on the 7th and close the next day so you might have a little swap fee there but either way if you use a five minute chart you stick to a five minute chart you will be fine okay so when a trade is for when you first get a signal do not place a trade right away okay wait about you know 15 to 20 minutes because every five minutes you get a new candle and see how it's doing if it's repainting going the opposite direction just wait a little bit okay and then you can pl finally place a trade and wait for the opposite arrow or signal if you trade off your cell phone wait for the opposite arrow and then close it that's it all right no need to use it no need to use a take profit no, no need to use a stop loss just you know follow that method and as you can see here definitely there is you don't need to be on your phone every five minutes checking this okay you know in between each trade you have about you know at least a three to four hour span of time before you I get you get the opposite arrow sometimes longer you know you could have it open for a day you know sometimes five or six hours sometimes ten hours but the point is you don't have to be checking this every five minutes okay you know you can come back every hour and check on it that's fine set your stopwatch um, just do not forget about it okay uh, that's one thing I do recommend do not forget about it. you can set a timer on your uh, cell phone or whatever to remind yourself to come back every hour or two and check on this see how it's doing and you know if you have a lot of profit close it out all right or you can just wait for the next arrow and close it out all right no no big deal now when you do when you get this is important also when you get an opposite arrow and you close it do not open another trade in that direction right away wait a few air a few more candles before you place another trade okay that way in case there's more re additional repainting going on you want to get the best entry point for the next trade okay 
And then once you place the next trade, wait for the opposite arrow again. Okay, and close it out and just repeat that process. And you can do this on more than one currency pair. All right, I'm sure you're already thinking this, but you know, if you have a dozen currency pairs open doing this, it's gonna be a lot to manage. So I would recommend sticking like, you know, just a few currency pairs starting this out. And still with the major currency pairs, like Euro USD, Pound USD, AED USD, like that. Okay, just get a few of the major currency pairs to have a low spread and go go from there get your pips every day and you know if you got 500 pips on one trade okay in one day and you have three trades going on how much is that one day okay think about that all right so anyways this is how i recommend trading you don't have to use a five minute chart you know don't get me wrong you can use a 15 minute 30 minute it don't matter okay the same concept applies okay if you use a 30 minute chart wait another candle wait about two candles before you enter the trade all right same on the one hour chart the higher the time frame the less repainting i have not seen on a four hour and above i have not seen it repaint yet but on one hour i definitely have seen it repaint so i would wait another candle or two to enter a trade all right you can see here that you're going to be stuck in a trade for more than 24 hours probably several days if not a week so on a one hour chart there's no need to really rush to get into a trade okay so use this however you want okay i'm not going to tell you use a five minute use a 30 minute whatever but i will tell you do not use a one minute chart okay you can you can use one minute you, you can test it out but for me i don't like to use a one minute chart because one it repaints too much and the amount of pips you get is not that much you can get a lot more pips on a five minute chart and you don't have to check your phone constantly on a one minute you need to be checking your phone about every 10 minutes to see what it's doing and i don't like that okay so anyways stick to a five minute chart and follow my method and you should be pretty good okay so let me know if you have any questions or comments. Uh, you can contact me on Facebook. There is a link below in the description of this video for my personal Facebook account. Okay. Also, there is a link for my private Facebook group. If you have not joined my Facebook group, please do so. And you can post any questions or comments in my Facebook group. And myself or other traders can assist you. Okay. And that's probably one of the preferred methods anyhow. But anyways, uh, just let me know if you have any questions. I'd be more than happy to help you. Thank you and have a wonderful day.